Let's create a cool looking text animation in After Effects. And to achieve that, we are going to be using the trim path. And without much further to do, let's get started with the video. Now in After Effects, the first thing we need to do is to cover up the entire text with a stroke layer. I'm going to select my pen tool and I'll start drawing the stroke, starting from here. So I hold the shift key, so I have a straight line. Click here, then I'll draw the line. So that's the first stroke. And one thing you should have in mind is that each stroke is separated from one another. And what I do to achieve that is that when I create the first stroke, I'll click on the text layer to deselect it. Then I select the layer again. Then with the pen tool, I'm going to draw in the second stroke. And again, since I'm going to the letter E, I'll deselect this, then select it again, so that I'll have a separate stroke. Then I'll draw in the letter E. So that's the same principle I'm going to use to draw the stroke on top of all the text. So I'm done creating all the strokes that covers up the text. The next thing we're going to do is to animate this text. Selecting the stroke layer here, I'm going to open this, then move to add trim paths. And for the trim path here, I'm going to set in the keyframe for the end, move about two seconds ahead, then set in the second keyframe. And back to the first keyframe, I'm going to set in a value of zero. And when I play these, all of them animate at once. I'm going to change this trim multiple shapes to individually. Now, another issue is that it starts from back to front. And you want it to start with this first letter here. So moving under the contents, you'll find all of the shape layers. And you can see that this one is at the top, meaning you start animating from here. So what I'm going to do is I'll move this to the bottom until I see the shape one at the top. Then you can go ahead and change each stroke to have a rounded under by going under the content shape stroke. Then you'll find the line cap, which will change this to round cap. And do that with all of the shapes if that's what you want. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to do it with the first letter here, which is T. So when I'm done with all of that, I will select the two keyframes. Easy is the keyframes to make the animation to be smooth. Go to the graph editor, select this handle here, then I'll move this in. So it starts with a low intensity, then goes to a high intensity. So let me play this one more time for you to see. We are done animating the stroke using the trim path. Now we want that just the text should be visible and not the stroke layer. And we can achieve this by changing the track made value of our text layer to alpha mid. And what this does is that anywhere the stroke layer was found, the text will be visible. These texts are having some hard edges compared to the first letter which are rounded the edges. So you can go ahead and change the value of your line cap to rounded. So all of them will have round corners. To make this interesting, what I'm going to do is that I'll select the two layers, right click on it, then I'll go to pre-compose. Then I'll call this animation. I'm going to duplicate the text layer, let's say twice. Then I'll move, let's say about three frames ahead, reposition this. Then three frames ahead again, and I'll reposition the third layer. Back to the first layer here. I'm going to add in the fill effect to it. The first color that I'm going to select with something, let's say this. Then I'll copy this, so that I'm going to use on the second layer. Then with the second layer, I'm also going to add in the fill effect. Then I'll change the fill, the fill color to something, let's say this. And hit OK. So let me play this for you to see one more time. You can go ahead and play around with all what I've shown you and come up with better looking text animations and leave them in the comment section below and I'll be there to read it and leave my feedback regarding to what you've created. And that's it for today's video. Hope you found the video useful and interesting. Don't forget to implement all what you've learned in this video and leave a feedback down in the comment section below and I'll be there to always read your comments and reply to them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, don't forget to do that and like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching and until the next one, keep editing.